for joining me today, January the 15th. We continue in the book of Genesis. Today we'll have Genesis chapter 11. We'll read 10 through 32 in two sections. First we'll read 10 through 26, and then we'll do a short devotion, and then 27 through 32. Let us begin in prayer. We pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord from Genesis, chapter 11, verses 10 through 26. These are the generations of Shem. When Shem was a hundred years old, he fathered our Pachashad, two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he had fathered our Pachashad five hundred years, and other sons and daughters. When Er Pachashad had lived thirty-five years, he fathered Shelah, and Er Pachashad lived after he fathered Shelah four hundred and three years, and had other sons and daughters. When Shelah had lived thirty years, he fathered Eber, and Shelah lived after he fathered Eber four hundred and three years, and had other sons and daughters. When Eber had lived thirty-four years, he fathered Peleg. And Eber lived after he fathered Peleg 430 years, and had other sons and daughters. When Peleg had lived 30 years, he fathered Ru. And Peleg lived after he fathered Ru 209 years, and he had other sons and daughters. When Ru had lived 32 years, he fathered Serug. And Ru lived after he had fathered Serug 207 years, and had other sons and daughters. When Serug had lived 30 years, he fathered Nahor and Serug lived after he fathered Nahor two hundred years and had other sons and daughters. When Nahor had lived twenty-nine years, he fathered Terah, and Nahor lived after he fathered Terah a hundred and nineteen years and had other sons and daughters. When Terah had lived seventy years, he fathered Abram, Nahor, and Haran. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We see here that sin weighs heavily on the human race as life spans are drastically shortened. Yet this short section assures us that the promised messianic line continues throughout human history. Let us pray. Thank you, O Lord, that you never abandon your people, that they may hold fast to the hope of everlasting life. In your name we pray. Amen. Now hear the word of the Lord from Genesis chapter 11, verses 27 through 32. Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah fathered Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran fathered Lot. Haran died in the presence of his father Terah in the land of his kindred in Ur of the Chaldeans. And Abram and Nahor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah. The daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and Ishkah. Now Sarai was barren. She had no child. Terah took Abram, his son, and Lot, the son of Haran, his grandson, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son Abraham's, Abram's wife, and they went forth together from Ur of the Chaldeans to go into the land of Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. The days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In this section, we see that after the human race has again turned away from God, the history of salvation and the messianic promise is narrowed to one man. To one man, Abram, the son of Terah, of the line of Shem. Terah adopts heathen superstitions and idolatry, a common practice in every age. But God identifies Abram as the father of the line by which the nations of the earth will be blessed. And God will call Abram to leave all. And God will call Abram to follow him. First to Haran, and in due time to Canaan. Let us pray. Thank you, gracious Lord, 
or your patience in working out the details necessary for our salvation in Christ Jesus, and for your patience and forgiveness when we succumb to this world's attractions and fall into sin. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We continue with the Pray For Us calendar on this 15th day of January. Gracious Lord, Heavenly Father, today we pray for our synod and all of its districts, all of its geographical districts, 35 of them throughout the United States, that these districts might have the resources and the godly wisdom to effectively reach out to their communities. We pray that these districts will help us reach many, many more people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. We continue now with our weekly prayer of the church. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For grace to receive the word of God with joy, for repentance from all of our sins, and for the aid of the Holy Spirit to amend our sinful lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For holiness of life and speech, for grace to live out fully the promise of our baptism into Christ, for all needful gifts of the Spirit in our vocation as God's servants, and for the will and desire to serve the Lord with joy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer. Bless those wounded in body or mind and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will, and sustain them into the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We confess our common faith, speaking the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We are bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.